All right, we're back again with another quest. This is the Large Scarecrow quest. Without a doubt, one of the most important quests in the game. This gives you a plot to plant your uh, farm materials that is four times as large as the small Scarecrow quest. So it uh, also introduces you to trade packs, one of the most uh, efficient ways of making money, one of the most enjoyable ways of making money in the game too. Uh, what I'm standing before here now is a... Uh, what looks like a one-armed bandit, a slot machine, but it's actually a trade pack making machine. It's a caravan that's also there, and I'm going to go up to it and get part of my quest. Now you got this quest chain by finishing the small scarecrow quest uh, for the human area that was, uh, sorry, for the west continent human area that was around this area. Um, I think I showed you in the video, I started over here where this marker is. That's actually where you go to pick up the large scarecrow, scarecrow quest. So I went there after finishing the small scarecrow quest. I talked to the guy. He gave me a quest which basically said, now go all the way back to your starting area and talk to this person here or talk to this uh, vendor. Now the quest isn't clear. It's just because it's in Korea right now, it'll be clear in North America, but the quest is not clear as to what to do, and it can be one of the most frustrating quests in the game, because you're traveling around very slowly for long periods of time, possibly in danger, and you're not even sure if you're doing it right. So that's why this guide is crucial. So we're going to step up here to the slot machine. We're going to hit the F... Oh, sorry, before I begin... I'm actually going to show you in my inventory that I've already prepared all the elements of this quest. I've bought or made 100 strawberries. I purchased this uh, sort of ticket. I bought 50 goose feathers, another ticket, and daffodils. I'm going to pick up some more daffodils and then that ticket there. The tickets, as you probably know, are found from a vendor that looks sort of like this. So if you come over to the strawberry area, if you don't have them already, hit the vendor and it's 50 silver each. So you'll need a little bit of money to be able to do this part. Auction houses, as you probably already know, can be found by any of these portals to Mirage Island. So and they look like uh, Jar Jar Binks, the funny guy here. Okay, so you've got all that material. What I'm going to do is in the um, in the YouTube video or other links, we'll try and make sure that the guide has the Korean words in case you're playing over in Korea, so that you can just copy that into the auction house bar, hit enter, buy the materials if, like most of us, you're impatient and just want to get going on the quest instead of growing the stuff yourself. So, I hit the tab, click on this tab. I have already got the correct materials. It's the first one and I'm going to craft my trade pack. I've got my trade pack on now. The quest doesn't show up here, but the number uh, one is giving me an arrow, and if you go out on the map, go over to the elf zone, you'll see that I have a long, slow journey ahead of me. Look at my speed now, it's 2.9 meters per second. Watch how slow I'm walking. It's a long walk. Now eventually, during this quest chain, you're going to get a donkey which will allow you to travel faster with packs, and that'll be very useful. That's before you get the large scarecrow, so that'll help out a lot. And by the end of this quest chain, you're going to need to go across the sea to the eastern continent. So. I'm going to walk just a little bit here, and uh, don't worry, I won't make you watch this part. Okay, um, you can hit a speed boost to go 4 meters per second instead of the 2.9. I'm here at a stop, a taxi stop basically, and I'm waiting for a taxi to come. Oh, here it comes in the distance. I just looked at uh, this uh, telescope to see when it might be coming, and I could see him coming. This will get me into the, uh, the next zone where I picked up the quest originally. You just step up. Hit the F key and you'll board. If it's uh, going too fast, uh, you should still probably use the F key, but you can always hop on too if you're fast enough. So I'm on. I'm going to take a taxi ride from from here. 
it goes up that way so if you're impatient you can walk but truthfully I mean this taxi will be way faster that's then gonna lead me to here where I will board another taxi I have to get the right one because I want to go over there to the elf zone okay we'll be back in just another minute all right so I'm all the way over in the elven area just about to reach my destination uh, if you expand out just a little bit I came from the human or the middle area between the humans and the elves right there uh, I basically went across the taxi let me out here uh, or I jumped off of it and then I just sort of went across like that now the quest is done but this is deceptive because the quest is saying it's done even though I didn't do anything. For all of these trade pack quests for the large Scarecrow quest, instead of actually having to turn the trade pack in and get all kinds of good money or Delphi coins, all you have to do is come very close to the area, the target area. This number one is now actually showing me... Oops. It's showing me to go back to the beginning of the quest not what I want to do at the moment. I want to trade this in because there's no way I want to walk all the way back there. Now, talk to this gentleman. Okay, I keep saying gentleman. He's not a gentleman. Look at him. He's pretty much a crazy pirate or something. Anyways, he will give you two Delphi coins if you talk to this person. Uh, yeah, it's usually... It's usually a person with a book, trade book, but uh, in this case it's this person. They will give you money. At the moment, I need money. Uh, Delphi coins are useful for certain blueprints later, but now I'll be able to walk around a lot better and faster. So, let's just take a portal back to that other area, and uh, we'll see where the next quest takes us. Alright, I came back to that middle area. He gives me... As a quest reward, he gives me some stuff, then uh, he's going to give me a donkey as a quest reward for this quest if I complete it. And this one still gives an arrow. Uh, in this case... So this quest is going to bring me back to the elfin area, the starting point, and here's where I'm going to use the goose feathers and get a trade pack and go from there. All right, I rode my horse over, and I'm in the Elven Lands at this particular point. What I would suggest if you're doing this from scratch, when you turn in that other quest down here, just go north, um, probably over to around this area. You'll be able to set up a portal so you can just portal over to here, no problem. So if you're already on the Elven side, then you wouldn't have a problem. But if you're on the humans uh, on the West Continent, you're going to want to have a portal so you can get around quickly. Um, when I came over and hit the uh, casino... I've already got my goose feathers and that, I've got everything purchased, so I can just see that I need to hit that slot, make that, and we'll go to the next spot. Let's see where it's taking us next. And it's pointing all the way to this area here. Now I could take uh, some of these rivers and get there a bit faster, I believe, so that's what I'm going to do. Important thing to remember while you're out uh, adventuring around is that uh, if you die, that's it. You can do all your skills. You can certainly fight people, do whatever. You're moving slowly. That's really the only penalty is that you're moving more slowly. But if you die, your pack drops to the ground. It stays there. It's not locked the way you can lock the rowboat that I'm about to summon. It's, uh, it's available for anyone to take. So I'm going to summon my rowboat. I'm going to be very careful because I've just spent probably an hour trying to get to this point on the map all the way from the Elven Continent. Probably wasn't that long, but uh, it certainly feels like it. I think this is going to be a two-parter just because of the sheer amount of time it takes to do all these quests. Certainly something you want to be watching uh, Netflix or something else while you're doing this to, uh, to pass the time. But don't die. Don't wander into mobs because if you don't get back to your pack before... Uh, somebody else does they can take it and they can cash it in all right so again you don't have to get all the way up to the vendors to sell the uh, stuff i'm just gonna lock my boat here get out as with most of these quests you just have to get near them so the quest will turn in here in just a second yes. oh well maybe not 
Uh, same thing again, you talk to crazy pirate Jar Jar Binks, then you can get Delphi coins. Uh, I'm going to talk to the girl because I'm working on something at the moment. I want some gold. So, quest is turned in. No surprise. Now wants me to go back to the spot where we started, where we get part three of four. Uh, I forgot there was a third part. That's why this is probably going to be a two-parter. Actually, I definitely have to finish this quest uh, at least to, uh, for part two to get the donkey. It'll help for part three. Uh, so I've now got a donkey in my inventory. I'm going to go into... This is one of those safe training areas. So let's go in here. Let's get off this horse. And let's get the donkey. Uh, so donkey is here in my inventory. Just right click on him. Like plant, you just put him down. I forgot to mention to raise any pet, well, most any pet, you're going to need a, a seed. The seed grows into pet food, basically. It's not too expensive, it doesn't take very long to grow. Uh, so we'll go plant that now. So I'm not sure why, but it wouldn't let me... I've got the quest over here, turned it in. I went over to the stable very nearby and picked up the seed. It wouldn't let me plant anything or put the horse down in this central area, I guess because it's a training area for one of the quests. Uh, I'm going to grab the... I believe I can harvest my seed now, or food. Yeah, there's the food there, that's pet food. Uh, let's be nice to the donkey. So this is exactly the same as the horse, the mount quest. Uh, first you pet it. Now I've just fed it the food there. It gets happy and probably it'll need to be watered. Let's make sure I've got some water ahead of time. Yeah, I've got a bucket of water. It's got a small timer of 40 seconds. Uh, basically, I believe I'm just going to wash it and then it'll be ready to go. We'll be right back. Alright, so uh, about another minute later, I've got a donkey. I basically, uh, he goes into your inventory. I clicked on him there. Actually, I, I dragged it down to my tab because I wanted him to be easily accessible. Um, it's the usual G to get on, H to get off, or sorry, uh, this button to get off. Uh, th these are the stats on him. He gains levels, he can wear armor. Um, like this person here, you could run around in circles and that will gain you levels as you just get experience by moving around. Um, once you reach level, I think it's level 20, this symbol allows you to give a carrot to the donkey and that'll make them go fast. Uh, this symbol here uh, basically allows you to go fast without a pack. So this is with a pack on and this is without. Um, the stats for the information, like basically the donkey can go 7.2 meters per second with a pack on and without a carrot he can go about four meters per second. With this, without a pack, that's without a pack, he can go about 20, 22 meters per second. Quite fast without a pack for a brief period of time, but that's just straight in a row. So, besides a tractor or on a sailboat or something, it's one of the fastest ways to get around. So, this will be helpful for the next part. We're going to get into part two of the Large Scarecrow Quest. Two more trade packs to be delivered. One within the western continent, and then finally going across the sea to the eastern continent. This is Rook. We'll see you out delivering very long trips with the trade packs. Take care.